And Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. There goes the miracle of God. This evening, we must live in the realm of the miraculous. Somebody say hallelujah. I want everybody to know from today you must have the mindset of miracles. Church, say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Do you believe in miracles? I believe in miracles. Bring that mindset in you tonight. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. I want to have everybody say hallelujah. Do you believe in miracles? Yes. Miracles are about to happen. The Bible says, and Pharaoh also called his wise men and sorcerers. Watch this. And he said, now the magicians of Egypt, they also didn't like a manner with their enchantments. And they cast down every man his rod, and, and the Bible says they became serpents. The, this is the realm of miracles. Hey, we are wrestling against witchcraft power. We are wrestling against witches and divination power in the land. The churches cannot be powerless. Somebody is going to preach the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Are you with me this evening? If churches are lukewarm, the church will fall. But this evening, God is raising up so we can build the church by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Are you with me this evening? What the, what the lukewarm church cannot do, we will do in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you with me this evening? We are not belonging to some organization or some blinded something. But we are people led by the Holy Ghost into the anointing of God. May the Lord strengthen our hands. Are you with me this evening? Pray for me. Pray for our leaders. Pray for everybody who's participating in this worship. Pray for the prayer warriors. Pray for everybody. Many people are praying. I want you to pray for everybody who's in this battle. Because we're going to come out with victory. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're going to come out with victory. We are going to come out. I'm telling you, God is about to raise up some sons and daughters in this place. God is about to raise up the prophets in this place. God is about to raise up the miracle workers in this place. Are you with me this evening? Revival shall come because every one of you shall prophesy. Every one of you shall work miracles. Did not Jesus say that? He established his word with signs, wonders, miracles following. They will take up serpents. They will speak in new, no, new tongues. Tonight, miracles are happening. Come on, enter into the realm of miraculous. Are you with me this evening? Miracles are happening in my life. Miracles are happening in my life. Miracle, miracles are happening in my life. Money is coming into my life. Favor is coming into my life. My blessing is coming into my life. Not by mind, not by earthly, not by natural. Miraculous, miraculous, miracles. Believe in miracles this evening. We are entering into some exciting time times. Somebody say hallelujah. You better believe in miracles because we have a miracle working God. His realm is miracles. We are wrestling against witchcraft power. Witches are praying. Witches, I'm telling you this evening, I want you to pray because w your faith, this, this is a small place here, but it's so powerful, I'm telling you. It's a few people here, but we are a fire bunch in this place. This is people of fire. I've heard people tell me, I can't sleep after the prayer meeting for a whole night. This evening, the Bible says, watch this. Somebody say, you know, I'm so excited, man. Hallelujah. I feel, I feel so privileged to serve God. Hallelujah. I'm so humbled that God can give us this anointing. Hallelujah. Who is man that you are mindful of? Remember, I read to you from Hebrews chapter number two. Who is man that you are mindful of? You made him lower than angels, but in only in, a, in suffering of death. But when I rose, when Jesus rose, I rose. Hallelujah. When Jesus worked miracles, I rose. Hallelujah. We are not common people who doubt miracles. We are people who believe. We believe in miracles. We have a mindset for miracles. Do you have a mindset for miracle this evening? Do you really believe this evening? Or are you a penny pincher? How much do you give for God? Let me give like $10 because I need $10 for dinner tonight. <laughs> are you a person like a calculator? I don't calculate my giving to God. I don't measure anything in the Holy Spirit. He's the miracle working God. My supply comes from heaven. Somebody, miracle, somebody believe for financial breakthrough, I'm telling you. Somebody believe for your breakthrough. It's coming from heaven. It's coming. You can't have, a, you can't, you can't have two mentalities in you. You know, I don't know if this is going to happen. I don't know if this is going to happen. You know, I don't have the energy for this. I got to go to church. The Bible says kiss Jesus, not kiss the pastor. <laughs> kiss the son of God. His name is Jesus. Kiss him today. 
miracles are about to happen. People are about to be stunned. People are about to be surprised for what is coming in your life because you chose to believe in a wicked generation like this. Because you kept your faith so strong, God is going to reward you with miracle, miracles, miracle money, miracle, miracles are about to happen. Miracles are about to happen. Highly favored, highly favored. The Bible says God, when God gives a miracle, it will destroy the yoke of the devil. God is about to send some blessing miraculously into your life, which is about to destroy the devil and his power. It's coming. I don't know if it's going to come in the form of a person, or it's going to come in the form of money, or it's going to come in the form of a, of a, of a job. It's coming in the name of Jesus. And that job will bless you. It will destroy the power of the devil. That, that person who is going to come into your life is going to be the answer who will break every plan of the enemy. I'm telling you this evening, miracles are coming, miracles are coming, miracles are coming. People are going to be jealous of you, I'm telling you. People are going to envy you so much because you are so blessed, highly favored. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, how did they become so powerful? How did they become so powerful? The same Pharisees and Sadducees, the same unbelievers and the same religious people will look at you and they will be like, how did they get that power? They were carpenters, they were fishermen. How did they receive miracle power? Oh, it's coming. Hallelujah. It's coming. It's coming. Say, I, mean, I refuse to walk in religion. I refuse to walk in churchianity. I refuse to walk in mundane something. I want to walk in the power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. God, take me, Lord. Let me be an instrument of your glory. There are doors opening right now for you in the realm of the Spirit. There the angels are moving right now. They are moving like fire right now for you. Those of you who are so sad, your angels are too sad. Are you happy with your angels being sad? But those of you who are stirred up tonight, I'm telling you, angels are moving right now. They are moving. They are taking a step of faith. Even as you move. The Bible says, when you draw nigh to me, I will draw nigh to you. Somebody say hallelujah. When you begin to show some excitement, ah, hallelujah, the real gospel is excitement, my friend. When you preach the gospel, every sickness will go. Every weakness will go. The true gospel will make the cripple walk. Amen. The true gospel will make the sick rise up from their sick bed. Amen. This evening you're rising up from slumber. You're rising up from sickness. The Bible says, for they cast down every man and it became serpents. Everywhere, serpents everywhere, serpents everywhere. Miracles everywhere. The devil's miracles, God's miracles, devil's miracles, God's miracles. Miracles, miracles, miracles. Something powerful. God is a God of power. Power. He wants to show his exceeding power through you yes. to this land, my friend. I'm telling you, battle is on. Say the battle is on. The battle is on. That unbelieving partner, that unbelieving family member, that unbelieving skeptic is going to be pulled down by the power of God. I'm telling you this evening, God is increasing people into your life. They're ready for miracles. The Bible says, but Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. This evening, God was ushering me to the realm of miracles. As God told Cyrus, I'm going to open two big doors. It's important today that God will open the doors because when you enter these two gates, when you enter the realm of the spirit, which we are entering right now, as I'm speaking, we're entering that realm right now, the angel of the Lord is taking us into a certain place. Somebody say hallelujah. We are entering by the word of God in the name of Jesus, covered by the blood of Jesus, by the grace of God. We're entering two big gates are opening for everybody right now. And I, I call, I invite everybody to enter, enter into this dimension of glory. And as we enter, God begins to tell, God begins to open little, 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 little doors for us. Little, little, little doors. Are you ready? Some people are so stunned by the fact that the angel of the Lord came and opened the prison door when Peter was sleeping. But that's just a shadow of what's happening in the spirit. When the angel of the Lord came, God Bible says there was an earthquake. And at midnight, somebody said midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. Somebody said prayed. Prayer and his praises to God 
And the prisoners heard them. Prayer, prayer. Somebody said prayer. You know what these Saturday meetings are? Prayer. Even though I preach is actually a word of prayer. This is a prayer. Every word that comes right now is prayer. The Bible says prayer and praise to God and the prisoners heard them. What, you must understand that prayer, there was something that was going out of Paul and Silas. Prayer and praise. This evening, you are, you, are, you, are, uh, you are releasing something for heaven to respond. The Bible says, and suddenly, somebody says suddenly, I have no shadow of doubt this evening, uh, suddenly something is happening. I'm telling you this evening, as a response to our word tonight, as a response to our faith tonight, suddenly a door will be opened for you this evening. I prophesy this in the name of Jesus. I'm not leaving this place without receiving, receiving from the throne room of God. The Bible says, suddenly there was a great earthquake and the foundation of the prison was shaken immediately. All the doors, not just with his cell, not just the place where he was there, all the doors. The inner chamber door, the main door, this door, that door, the front door, the, the main, every door open. That's the power and a faith of prayer, the prayer of a righteous man. This evening, the Holy Ghost is opening doors. Somebody say hallelujah. Tomorrow, if you see your family members come to salvation, you'll know that the Lord opened the door tonight. Tomorrow you'll know when you have finances in your house, you know you will remember this day, that the, the day when God opened every door. Are you with me this evening? He's opening doors for you. Somebody say hallelujah. Sometimes we don't have children because the door is closed. Sometimes we don't have a blessing because door is closed. Sometimes we don't have a blessing because some doors are never open and people will perish because of lack of knowledge. This evening, God is opening doors. The Bible says suddenly the foundation was shaken. Immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prisoner waking out of sleep, seeing the prison doors open. He drew his sword and he was, he was going to kill himself. I want you to understand this, that every door in the realm of the spirit is being opened right now. Are you ready with me? Are you with me? Are you tired this evening? Come on, come on, let's walk with God for a few more minutes. Hallelujah. Let's pull down that anointing tonight in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, we're not going one more week full of open doors, miracles, signs, wonders. It's happening right now in the realm of the spirit. Prophetically, we are opening every door right now. The Holy Ghost is opening every door right now. The anointing is opening every closed doors right now. Closed doors open right now in the name of Jesus. Miraculous doors are opening now in the name of Jesus. Would you believe this evening with me? Are you sure you're believing this evening? Are you having any doubt in your mind that the doors are not opening? Tonight, every door of disaster is closing. Every door of blessing is opening in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. You are not, a, you are not just a church goer. You are a powerful Holy Ghost filled, powerful Christian desiring to walk in the spirit desiring to walk in the anointing this is why God preserved your life for so long this is the glory he promised you for so long that your children will walk in the glory that your family will walk in the glory and you are living in days where you're seeing everything manifest 